coming in off of Lake Erie. Going up the hill. Actually, this is a cool setting because it actually looks like Normandy. So I don't think they had funnel cake stands in 1944 in German occupied France. But oh well. We got a little real artillery. Nice Jeepers. Got an MB. Very cool. I like it, I like it. The old Koopa wagon. So, so much so that he ensured that everybody on down, you were carrying gas. Oh, okay. telephone sneak. An experienced German soldier, though, probably lost his gas mask somewhere. Yeah. Mostly yeah. containers. I like the red side. I don't speak German. I don't think that's good. Need old Ford. Nice old Ford. German buggy of some sort. BMWs. Those are so cool. Nice coupe wagon. Clean little ripper. Jeeps. But very hard to find because it was like 50,000 of those made. Jeeps were like half a million. Old Ford steak truck. Buggy of some sorts. Neat old car. BMW bike, sidecar, and machine gun. That is cool. A German Koopa wagon. Put the top up.
I said, hey, I need you to lay down some fire. No, I definitely do. Oh, this is where I have to do my shot. All you guys are going, I'm really good. I'm going to say, oh, this is my favorite and least favorite. Got some Jeepers. We always MB. Another MB. That one's a little battle worn. And a third MB. It's even a slat grill. That's rare. It's a correct slat grill with the square cut out sump for the gas tank. So it's a correct slat grill, which is very rare and awesome. I like it. Jeep and a Dodge. Couple more Jeeps. Got an MB. Little General Electric generator. Flathead six cylinder. Big old spotlight, it's neat. So cool. Hand crank radio. So cool. It's like literally walking back in time. SMB. Mess hall. Flat fender, GPW. You can tell GPWs versus MBs. GPW has that front cross member is kind of like a U shape almost. MBs will be just a round tube. There's probably another one here. I'll show you. Nice Jeepers. Another thing is GPWs, like this one indentations on the toolbox lids and these are flat I like how they have the correct coverings over the headlights for anti-glare which is a correct d-day thing very popular for the D-Day invasion. See, here's an MB with the round cross member. Oh, 134 Go Devil, 60 horsepower. So we always notice flat toolbox lids. Another MB. Machine gun on it. And here's a GPW. This one's loaded up. Another one with the correct headlight coverings. A lot of D-Day Jeeps also had um, coverings over the windshields. And um, would make custom things off the front bumper to cut barbed wire, like angle iron or whatever. It's kind of, I'm surprised there aren't any Jeep, many Jeeps with that here.
Got the British encampment here. I've seen pictures of them just draped with magazine bags. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Not doing too bad. And the British section of town. Just love how accurate everything is.